Kentucky since Friday. A dozen people have been shot in the city of Cincinnati. Is everybody's responsibility. Just like we came together for this pandemic, we have to come together and treat this as a public health issue. So far this month, there have been 31 shootings in the city, and tonight we are going to take a closer look to put that number into perspective for you. And activists tell us they are worried about what the summer will bring. WCPO 9 News reporter Jake Rouse spoke with them on the efforts that they are taking to curb this dangerous trend. In the city of Cincinnati for the past three days, there have been 12 total shootings. And for comparison's sake, that number very close to the number of total shootings in the month of March. Today's shooting was very alarming. Avondale, Rockdale Avenue, Monday. Police say 46 year old Shanti Humphrey got into an argument with two people at a graduation party on Sunday. The next morning, Humphrey shot at them, two shot back, killing him. Sunday in Roselawn, four people shot at Brandy's Lounge. 36 year old Donta Martin died at the scene. For Phoenix program community partner Ennis Tate, the goal is to prevent these shootings. We prepare for it, try to prepare for it, is this time of year. We, we, we assume that there's going to be an uptick. The, the, the data has shown us that around when it starts to get warm, we start to see more and more activity. Let's take a look at the numbers. Halfway through May and already the city is seeing the highest number of shootings in months. And when taking a wider view, the number of people shot this month is comparable to what the city has seen in years past. Because school is about to get out, because people are off work, because, because there's a, a struggle for the hustle to get it done and to, to make ends meet, you know, people are resulting to gun violence and they're resulting to, you know, robbing Peter to pay Paul and then going back and robbing Paul. Dayon Morris is a 14 year old volunteer with the Phoenix program. It's people our age being there experiencing saying, hey, we want this to stop. And will you help us? He says he volunteers his time to help the community become a safer place. Morris says he's upset seeing the number of recent shootings involving kids around his age. People my age who have their whole life ahead of them are ruining it just by being near a gun. These volunteers say they'll continue working hotspot neighborhoods. Or people hanging out and how can we get out again and provide information to help people to see that there is a way out. Jake Ryle, WCPO 9 News.